Hi guys, I'm back with a Dollar Tree haul. It's been a long, long time since I've done a Dollar Tree haul. It's a big Dollar Tree haul. I got some, a little bit of everything, so let's jump right into it. I'm going to start off with my kids, what I got for my kids. I got a water squirter here and we're going to play with this when we have our water days um, in our backyard with our um, little plastic swimming pool so Sarah's going to be excited about using this because she's going to be able to you know not only fill it up herself but you know shoot it as well also for Sarah I got a bug net she's all about these bugs right now it's not like she likes them she doesn't like them at all so I'm hoping I can get her into not being afraid of them, more like encouraged to catching them and actually seeing that they're okay and everything, that you know, bugs are not terrible. So I got her this butterfly net. We'll not only catch butterflies, we'll probably catch um, moths and probably some flies too. They're always hanging around the house. So I got this for our backyard. And these are for the kids, but they're also more for the garden. And they're the windmills. They say it keeps the squirrels away because they get like scared of them because when they move it kind of like makes them like, uh, I'm not so sure about this. So that's really why I got it. But it's also for Sarah to uh, look at and see the pretty colors and stuff and learn about wind. That would be great too. Um, we'll probably make it into a nice lesson for our homeschool. I got four of them. Another thing for the backyard, I got a baseball bat and a baseball. So we're going to play baseball outside. I got Sarah a hat and I got me a hat. Um, Sarah, my three-year-old, sometimes she wears hats, sometimes she doesn't wear hats, but I'm hoping this one would fit her right. Uh, she doesn't like the ones that, you know, that Velcro in the back where they, um, you put the Velcro together to make it the size fit because it like catches on her hair. So I'm hoping she'd like this one better so she could just put it on and put it off. And I got me a hat as well. I was like, why not? I'll get me a hat and we'll look super cute together. I got some bubble bath for Sarah. She was running out of bubble bath. She really likes her bubbles when she takes her baths. So I got this little basket. Isn't this cute? Oh, it's upside down. Isn't this cute? I thought it was so adorable. It has these little sequins on it. It's a collapsible box. So you take the bottom out of it and you push the sides in and it collapses. So easy storage. And you put the little bottom back in so it doesn't fold in but I thought this was so cute if you see the sequences it's like a greenish purplish and then when you and it's all, they're all facing one direction and then when you move your hand in the opposite direction look at that isn't that cute I thought that was adorable and I thought Sarah was is really gonna like it and I thought it was really good I could do that all day it's really cute I like it and for homeschool I got some of these paint brushes to help for the sponge paint activities we might do this summer. So I got some sponge, some sponges, I mean, um, sponge foam brushes. And there's eight in a pack, and I thought that was a really good deal. You get three of these small, narrow ones, and you get three of these medium ones, about maybe two inches wide. And then this one here, this really big one, you get two of those, and they are one, two, three, maybe, maybe three, maybe a little bit more. They're uh, wide, three inches wide. So I thought that was a really good deal, getting eight foam brushes for, for a dollar. I thought it was a good deal. And for me, for my own personal purchases, I got a adult coloring book. I really like on my spare time, which is not much <laughs> with two kids and being a stay-at-home mom, um, but this is a really good uh, coloring that I like to do, um, this style. Man Mandela's, I think that's what it's, how it's pronounced, is valued at $6, and I only got it for $1, and I really like it. And I really like this kind of um, coloring books because you have a design, right, on the front and on the back. It's blank. So if your ink or whatever you're using bleeds through on the other side, that's okay because you're not ruining a design. Some coloring books have designs on both sides, but I, um, I like this one how it's on just one. And this is um, me planning ahead. Um, Sarah's gonna be four on her next birthday. 
And so I went ahead and I bought a number four birthday candle, a happy birthday decoration to stick onto the cake. Just to thinking ahead of time so that I won't have to worry about it, you know, when it gets all crazy when planning for the birthday party. So I like to plan ahead. And I got a whole bunch of extra candles. There's 60 candles, and I thought that was another really good deal for just a dollar. You get 60 candles, and you get pink, white, yellow, and blue. And this is going in my car, or, or my truck, I mean, so the emergency times when, you know, I need it. An umbrella. It's a polyester umbrella, and I didn't even open it up at the store. I wonder how it even probably should have. Oh, not bad. I like it. Not bad, see? And this is like those times when you're got caught in the rain and you didn't know it was going to rain that day. You know, at least I have an umbrella to get me from inside the truck to the building without getting soaking wet. You know, I wouldn't expect this to keep me 100% dry because it is just a dollar. These are for my kitchen. I really like um, these small hand, these short handled serving spoons because you can put them in the dish of a, um, of a, of a good size bowl, like maybe this, and the handle's not too long for it to fall out of the bowl. You know what I mean? Those, those spoons that have those really long handles and they're really heavy and they kind of like easily fall out of the bowl. But these are perfect for the size balls that I have, and they just stick right on in there, and they're perfect. And I love the serving size of it. It's, it's, it's just the right size. And I also got a small ladle. I've been, I've been saying for a long time I need a small ladle, and I finally was able to find one at the dollar store. And isn't it cute? It's really adorable. So it's not only functional, but I like the way it looks. I like how it's so cute. And I am going to organize my freezer. It's in the plans. I haven't haven't been able to get to it yet, but I'm planning on organizing my freezer. I bought eight of these little plastic containers here, and these would be great for serve um, for storing like my hamburger because. I flattened my hamburger to serve uh, to freeze it, and this will be great for storing it, stacking it, and be a good space saver. And I'll not only be able to put my frozen hamburger in it, like I can do other stuff, like the biscuits, the bag of biscuits that I get, the bags of cheese that I get that I freeze. I buy them from Costco, and instead of putting the two huge bags in the refrigerator, I freeze one and then I get it out when I need it. I'll do a video on that, on organizing my freezer, and you guys can see how I use these. I got these dish brushes. We really go through dish brushes because they get all icky and dirty, especially if you um, scrub the cheese, it gets icky and, and, and never gets really 100% clean. So I always uh, go through the, these uh, dish brushes. So, and I bought three of them, and I really like the dollar stores uh, spray bottles. We really use these for everything, really, um, to spray bug spray. I make my homemade bug spray. I make my homemade weed killer. And what else? I, I use, um, I dilute Clorox for sanitizing the sinks and stuff like that. I have use it for there. And what else? I, I, I use them for everything. So I always make sure I have an extra empty unused bottle for anything surprise that I want to be able to spray. I got some refillable hand soap. I really like their antibacterial hand soap. We really go through this. I, ha I put this not only in the kitchen, I put it in the bathrooms and everything. So this is really good. Oh, this is also for the kitchen. I got these two cooking pans to go for the oven. I put my frozen chicken on here, my pre-cooked frozen uh, crispy chicken that I buy at the grocery store, and what else? The biscuits that we cook. I put toast on here, so. And they always get dirty, and um, they never get fully clean 
or I end up using them to like to feed the chickens or something. So anyway, they always get gone and missing. So that's why I bought two more of these. I really like these. They get a good use out of them for just a dollar. I got some salt. We're going to do some science experiments with this salt. So I wanted to get the dollar store salt. And I got this Comet with bleach. There are some paint stains in my sink, in the bottom of my white sink, and I'm wondering if this will get the stains out because I've tried everything. I've tried I've tried regular soap, I've tried Clorox, bleach, I've tried um, a, the scrubs, the brushes, I've tried Brillo pads, uh, everything. And nothing has gotten that paint out. And it's acrylic paint, I think. Uh, we did for an art, and so it's this big old splosh of blue that's right there at the bottom of my sink. So I'm going to try this and if this doesn't get it out, I don't know what's going to get it out. So we're going to try this and I might do a video on that too. And the la this is the last thing. This is Armor All Multi-Purpose Auto Cleaner. It's not a big bottle, but it is just a dollar. It's four fluid ounces and you just, uh, I'm just going to use this to clean my dashboard and what else? The center console of my truck and maybe the other cup holders that scattered around the other parts of the truck. So we're going to use this and we're going to get it all nice and shiny in there because it's really dusty and I wanted to get it nice and clean. But that is all of my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys liked it. Give me a big thumbs up and leave a comment below and please subscribe that hit that subscribe button so you and that little bell icon beside it so you guys can get notified for any of our new videos and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys later bye